like to work short, fast, you know, and in a way as frantically and insanely as Lydia. And I think the film really reflects that kind of urgency that is spoken about. And when I met Lydia when she was 19 and I was 23 in New York City, the urgency was then and it is still currently today because not a fuck of a lot has changed. These issues that affect us all, war, patriarchy, sexual abuse, trauma, all these things, we have been, and in particular Lydia has been talking about for so many years, and it is still, it's in the mainstream, but in a really subverted way. You could flip everything in any fucking direction you wanted to, and that was the freedom and liberation that we had because we were really rallying against everything and anything that was considered normal or fixed because we were completely abnormal misfits. And the goal also is to see the unseen, to hear the unheard, and to have, have a fucking dialogue. To talk about the stuff people do not want to talk about. Mars, which was a band on No New York, which I think is the ultimate no wave band inspired me greatly, and in, for instance, the film The War Is Never Over, the original bass player and I have pieces when he plays trumpet, very different. I recorded an album with a guitar player, Connie Bird, which became the soundtrack for The Right Side of My Brain by Richard Kern. Mars is the ultimate no-wave band. Then I'm gonna inform you, that I don't know as much as I do, what fucking no-wave really is. What do you think about Paris? I think it kind of sucks here too. I lived in Barcelona for eight years. After that, I did not want to live anywhere. I live in the woods. I love it. It's beautiful. Uh, you know what? You know where I live? You see this? You see this? This is where I live. It goes all over the place. I'm like a mo I'm like a bullet. A bullet trailer. Spreading the fear. Love. Intimidation. Hey. Oh, beauty. Lost. Will you and have you ever voted? He voted for Larry Flint, Hustler <laughs> Magazine, because he stood for freedom, not only sexual. No, I'd rather vote with a fucking bullet, but I don't have enough. You also published an article in Hustler Magazine. They paid me, but I voted for him before. Yeah. Was, was it the one on DSK? He's a local hero here. My pup hustler, love it or love that bitches, paid me to publish an article denouncing Dominic Strauss Kahn. All right, hustler, check it out, it's online. I've had absolutely no social impact. I've had impact on individuals, that's what counts. We're not a politician, I'm not a solutionist. I'm like a protester with a bullhorn on a hill. Who fucking cares? As you do, because you're here. My biggest contribution is to any individual who finds any solace in what I say. No social impact. Look, no. I thought it was important from a very early age for me, not anybody else, to make a time capsule, to document my insanity my hysteria at specific times. I didn't give a shit if anybody else heard it, knew about it, found out about it, bought it, or didn't want it again. But for some reason, some perverse parasite in my brain said, document, 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 document. And I am amazed I did and found a lot of shit I documented. And it's not because, I mean, the priority is that it's about me. It's about the universal wound and a salve to it, which is art. Not only about me, these issues are about me. Mine are the least of so many. I can speak about it because so many of you do not have a mouth to fucking voice this shit. So I will do that for you.